Okay, today we're going to teach you guys how to fillet a walleye. It's a nice fresh one. And he's 27 inches long. Pretty nice eating sized fish. Walleyes are probably one of the best eating fish on the planet, especially when it comes to uh, freshwater fish. Anyway, he just was freshly killed. And uh, I'm going to show you how to fillet this thing. Now, my way may vary from yours. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But this is how I do it. I use a regular knife. You can use an uh, electric knife if you want. Um, I love these Gerber knives. They're really sharp. They hold an edge really well. And uh, it's got about, a, I'd say, a 10 and a half, 11 inch blade. It's lightweight and the grip is nice. It won't slip in my hands. What I do is I go against the scales and I want to cut a line from here to here. I'm going to go slow. This is not a, a video on how fast I can fillet a walleye or anything like this. This is just a nice technique to do it, especially for guys that don't really know how to do it. Now this meat from here to here, all this belly meat, is very fishy tasting. So I'm going to leave it on the fish. I don't even like to eat it. It doesn't taste very good anyway. This meat right here, from here all the way back here, that's all very nice. Good Take them Good eating meat. And so anyway, here's how I'm going to do this right here. Just go right through here, and you cut right here, just like that. And then I insert the knife underneath here, and I run right along this, this backbone to this tail, which is the caudal peduncle right here. You insert the knife right here, like that, and then I just run it right up through here. Right along that, right along that backbone. And you want to make sure you're on this side of the rib cage. When I get to this point right here, I want to shove the knife all the way through above the rib cage and the spine, and it should come out right here at the leading edge of the anal fin. And then I just run it right here, and then I stop right there. You want this connected, okay? Okay, back to it again. And we, we got to here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide the knife along them bones right here, all the way up here, as far as it'll go. Just like so, until I hit the rib bones right there. Now, this is kind of weird. A lot of people don't do this. This is round here, because it's not removed, so it makes it easier to do this side. So now I do the same thing to this side before I remove that solid piece. That way the head doesn't get scrunched up like that when I'm, when I'm flaying this out. And then I just go down here like that, right along there. There's a bone that's right there, so you want to be behind it. And I always angle the knife forward underneath the scales. Because if you cut down like that, you're going to dull your knife. So you want it underneath the scales like that. Now I insert the knife, and I just run right along here, right along the edge, just like so. And, it's, and then when I get to the point right here, I look over here, right here, and then the, the knife should come out right here, right there. And then I angle the knife down toward, toward the spine, and I just kind of make it, just go like that, just like so. And I stop right there. Then, Take and just slide the knife along here. Like I said, I'm not doing this super fast. I can do this a lot faster, but I'm doing it slow for the video. Now there's a bunch of bones that come straight up off the rib cage and they come up to here, along here. I just cut right through them. And then I remove them when I chunk up the meat right before I right before I uh, I deep fry it. Man, it's windy outside. Yes, yes it is. That's why we're not fishing right now. It's because we got blown off the river. <laughs> now I just go ahead and do it right there. And I left this belly meat right here on there. Because this doesn't taste very good anyways. It's very, very fishy tasting. Then I go ahead and stretch that out. And this is the reason why I left it. Here, it makes it a lot easier to grab the 
the thing and then I do this just like that. I do it two or three times. There's two. And three. Now if this is your first time filleting, <laughs> don't don't get worried if you cut through the skin. It's no big deal. You can you can figure it out. <laughs> I learned how to do this when I was 12 years old. And uh, so people can learn how to do it. It's not that hard. It just takes time and patience. And practice. And practice. Okay, I'm gonna go hold on that rib cage there. It's like so. See, the ribs are all the way up next to the skin. So there's not much meat down there in the belly anyway, so I just go ahead and, and slice that up. Slice that off right there. And then same thing. It goes there. Start right here. Go down here. Try not to cut the skin. There we go. <laughs> that's what you got left. Now, the, we filleted, we filleted the filleted fish, we want to put it in a bag. See if it'll go in there. And then this bag goes in the freezer. <laughs> oh. There we go. Got to get another bag. Ah. But anyway, put the bag in the freezer. To save your garbage man so your garbage doesn't stink. Put it out there the day before he comes. And that's how you do it.